Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. After suffering from a severe stroke in January of this year, Eulogio Quito was discovered by his landlord and hospitalized at the Guam Regional Medical City for over three months. Dr. Tyler Arkless helped treat Quito throughout his stay. Where it was bleeding into caused pressure to build up in the brain and that probably, you know, that would have killed him in short order. Thanks to emergency neurology services, Quito is now in stable condition. However, he still has physical deficits and needs help with day-to-day -day activities. Unable to return to work and with no family here in Guam, the GRMC Social Services Department stepped in to help. Social worker Jean Dima Ana. Mr. Quito doesn't have wife, no children, uh, no, uh, well, he, he, he doesn't have siblings, they're all deceased and also parents are deceased. His only remaining family is a niece and nephew in the Philippines. We communicated with them, you know, they're very much willing to take care of him. So we're just trying to like find, finance, you know, resources for him. They've been so excited to try and get him back home. They, I understand they've sold things. They've come up with as much money as they could. And it was, it became a real stumbling block. We needed about $4,200. We were very much short of uh, 1,200. But within one hour of reaching out to the Filipino community of Guam, both FCG and Rambi's restaurant agreed to donate the remaining cost of his ticket home. President Nita Baldovino. And that's the reason why there is the Filipino community. We are yes. the hardworking volunteers of the association. And we are very much A grateful. case like this where open arms to, to help. The moment I told, I told Mr. Quito, he was actually very happy about that. And, you know, he's crying about it, become very emotional about it. Right, Mr. Quito? Mr. Quito? Yeah. You're gonna go to your family, your relatives in the Philippines? He will be medically transported to his family in Pampanga this Saturday. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.